Hello guys, welcome to EasyMed. Today we are going to learn about microscopic structure of kidney. Microscopically, kidney is made up of uriniferous tubules. Each uriniferous tubule is made up of nephron and collecting part. Nephron comprises of renal corpuscle or malfusion corpuscle and renal tubule. Each renal corpuscle consists of two parts, glomerulus and Bowman's capsule. And renal tubule consists of three parts, proximal convoluted tubule, loop of Hanley and distal convoluted tubule. The collecting part consists of collecting tubule and duct of Pallini. Let's talk about nephrons. Nephrons are the structural and functional unit of kidney. Each kidney consists of about 1 to 1.2 million nephrons. There are two types of nephrons, cortical nephrons and juxtamedullary nephrons. Juxta means near. As the name suggests, juxtamedullary nephrons lies near the renal medulla. They have comparatively longer loop of Hanley and are embedded more deeper in the renal medulla. As we have already learnt before, nephrons are made up of renal corpuscle and renal tubule. Renal corpuscle is a blood filtering component of nephron and consists of two parts, glomerulus and Bowman's capsule. Glomerulus is a tuft of high pressure capillary system lying between afferent and efferent arterial. The capillaries are fenestrated to allow the filtration to take place. Between the capillary space in glomerulus, connective tissue cells called mesangial cells are present. They are phagocytic in nature and act as a single contraction unit and helps in filtration. Now Bowman's capsule. Bowman's capsule is a urinary space lined by two epithelium, outer parietal epithelium and inner visceral epithelium. Outer parietal epithelium is lined by simple squamous epithelium and inner visceral layer is made up of specialized cells called polyhedral podocytes. Each podocyte has got food processes. A food process of one podocyte is connected with food process of another podocyte to form a longitudinal slit known as filtration slit. The size of filtration slit is about 20 to 30 nanometer, so this acts as a size barrier. Between the two layers, capillary endothelium of glomerulus and visceral epithelium of Bowman's capsule, there is the presence of glomerular basement membrane. It is made up of type 4 collagen. Now, all these three layers, endothelium of glomerular capillary bed, glomerular basement membrane and visceral epithelium of Bowman's capsule form the glomerular filtration barrier. Since the filtration barrier consists of large amount of glycoproteins, they are negatively charged and hence filtration barrier acts as both charge barrier and also size barrier. Now let's come to renal tubule. Renal tubule is a part of nephron where majority of secretion and reabsorption function takes place. It is divided into three parts proximal convoluted tubule which is lined by simple cuboidal epithelium with brass border or microvilli. It is present in the cortical region of kidney. The second part is loop of Hanley which is a u-shaped tube present in the medulla. It is lined by simple cuboidal epithelium without microvilli. It is divided into three parts thin descending part, thin ascending part and thick ascending part. The third part of renal tubule is distal convoluted tubule. 
which is lined by simple cuboidal epithelium without brush border. Finally, let's get into second part of uteniferous tubule, that is collecting part. This part connects the nephron with minor calyx. Collecting part is made up of collecting tubule and duct of bellini. Collecting ducts of mini nephron drain into the duct of bellini and then to minor calyx. The urine then flows to the major calyx, then to renal pelvis, then to ureter, 